Hey folks, this is Ben from GDC 2015 and we are here at the Sixth Sense booth to check out their latest and greatest. And what is the latest and greatest? What are you guys showing here today, Danny? So this is our first time we're showing our Unreal 4 integration. Uh, so we've ported over the, a lot of the work that we've done from the Unity lightsaber demo and now it's running in Unreal and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Love it. It's uh, fun to play, play around with Unreal. The system's super intuitive to use, yeah. So we've seen the lightsaber demo on uh, on Unity and on both desktop and mobile, and now we're seeing it in here, but it looks different. Did you rebuild it uh, from the ground up in UE4? Yeah, we did. I think uh, originally the first demo was just kind of a, a tech thing that we just tried, and we got it kind of arted up and got it out to everybody. So this was a chance for us to kind of reboot the visuals and uh, having like more geared for kind of VR stuff. So as you go past the first round of you know the outer platform falls away and then the inner one platform falls away uh -huh. and that that's good for you to kind of you know to see that kind of dynamic things happening into the in the game we also added some um, if you reflect the bolt into the drone then he's gonna get stunned for a minute so and uh, the physics collisions on the lightsabers just feel amazing and yeah. totally accurate yeah so with support uh, for stem and ue4 and ue4 natively supporting rift now I'm sure developers are pretty excited to work in it can you tell those who haven't tried ue4 you know what how long did this take to get up and running with uh, rift and with stem and and get something that you could start playing sure so we've been working on the integration for some time uh, for the VR SDK inside of U Unreal Engine 4. Um, but now that it's there, it, that's when uh, Owen basically said to me, hey, you know, we got, we've got the basic framework, all the functionality we have in Unity, we should be able to make some content. So uh, this, this demo, again, is one of our typical demos where we put together just over a week or a week and a half. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very similar in the same sense that we've shown, um, or in the same way that we've shown how, how it integrates in Unity, where uh, a designer can come in or, or an artist can come in and make cool stuff happen. So. And was it was it just you on this one? Who uh, on this demo? Yeah, on this demo. No, I can't take credit for all this. Uh, we definitely had you know Owen was spearheading a lot of the engineering, and then had an uh, artist Dan who was doing a bunch of work, and he had some guys helping him as well, and uh, and me adding the gameplay and um, and, and effects and kind of stuff like that. So it was a good handful of us this time around for sure. Now, those of us who uh, know Six Sense for some time, you guys have done more than just the controllers. You've done uh, some portal uh, uh, DLCs, yep. essentially, with motion control. Do you see, once STEM is finally out the door, uh, going the content route and making stuff that is like this, but really a full experience? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great, great place for us to go. Um, we, we're, I'm super excited to get back to Portal. Um, you know, it's just been kind of on the back burner for us because we've had a lot of the other things to, de to deal with. But yeah, I think creating content and showing showing this kind of really immersive and intuitive uh, control scheme kind of content is, is really, the next step is making something fun that everyone's going to want to play, yeah, for sure. Now, is it easy to attract people to the booth when it's Star Wars and they realize they can swing a lightsaber around? Well, of course, right? I mean, everybody wants to do that, and uh, you'll get people heads kind of popping around the TV, like, "What is? What? Oh, and they get come and come in line and check it out." So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I, th one, I think one of my favorite things is the expressiveness. You know, you can see some people are timid and they oh, yeah. they don't really um, they're not really familiar with it yet, and then some people are you know dancing around like uh, like sword wielding uh, masters. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, it, some some people come in and they're just really they pick it up right away, and, and they're just really good at it. Uh, a couple people will come in and, and try it and be a little bit, not, not not as good at it at first, but a couple rounds into it, they finally just understand that it's really themselves in there doing it. And uh, But my favorite part is when they are trying to figure out how to turn on the lightsaber, and they finally find the buttons that will do it, and then they follow the lightsaber blade up, and then a big smile comes out. It's, just, it's so rewarding. It yeah. doesn't get old. Yeah, those, those iconic sounds. Yeah. Uh, speaking of iconic sounds and imagery, you guys haven't had any trouble uh, with, with using you know this IP to demo? Uh, not at this point, no. I mean, I think there's actually some interest in you know us, us providing this type of experience for them. You know, it's uh, I think they all would like the similar experience as well to become live be, being a Jedi, right? So I think uh, up until now, you know, we haven't had any issues, and if anything, just interest from them. So very cool. All right, well, uh, thank you so much. Um, the last thing we want to check in with is uh, what's the latest on on when the Kickstarter units are going to go out. So we have uh, a bunch of these units out already to some uh, some, ba some backers of ours that are providing a bunch of feedback, mm -hmm. and we're kind of nailing everything, trying to get it all done. Um, and it, within the next couple months, people are going to start getting their units. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, Danny. Thanks, Ben.